Cool. So my drums um, are Gretsch Broadcaster drums. Um, sizes are 22 by 14. Uh, it's a 12 rack tom and 16 standard sizes. Four toms. The snare today was a brass, I think six and a half inch nickel coated brass Gretsch snare drum. Stands were the old style flat 6000s, uh, DW, which I really, really love. Uh, bass drum pedal was a 9000, I think, so it was slightly more updated version with a plate and everything. Um, cymbals, 14 inch new beats, Zildjians, all, all Zildjians. Um, 18 inch K Dark Crash and a 22 inch Constantinople medium thin right on my right hand side. Sticks. Sticks are thick firth, five A's, uh, wood tip. Skins. All Remos. Uh, on the snare drum, it was the equivalent of just an ambassador. Um, on the toms, they're emperors on top and the, the standard uh, bottom heads that you get with the kit, just clear ambassadors, I guess. Um, but what I would ordinarily do is change those. I'd put uh, coated ambassadors on the bottom and then a coated emperor on top. Uh, that's the sort of preferred dry sound that I like. Any other companies you might want to mention, like cases or whatever, do you do you endorse anybody? Yeah, um, other than Remo, Vic, and uh, Gretchen Zildjian. I used some uh, drum dots today, which are uh, an American company that do uh, dampening uh, gels. Which, and what I like about the drum dots is they're very, uh, they're not messy. Um, there's a particular brand that I won't mention, but if you leave them on your drum, it'll, after a few months, they, they turn into this like weird kind of sticky, stuff, goop, sticky goop that is just awful, and you have to get rid of it. Um, whereas drum nuts, they don't do that. I really like those. Um, I They've sent me some stuff, as, as far as being endorsed, I don't know what that means, uh, I, but I have a bunch of drum dots which I which I like and I, and I do favour them over Nuja is that actually what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, How do you like the festival? Ah, oh, I mean every time I do a drum festival the same always the same thing happens and it, it, it and, and I'm always surprised I don't know why I should stop being surprised now but you know historically these sort of events are about this sort of drum show uh, which usually means speed and technique and, and the amount of drums and I, and I sort of turn up with a rack and a floor and a crash and a ride and I don't play in a, in a technical fast way and yet I, I don't know, it's like a bit of a bubble that you get into but I seem to be getting, uh, well I keep getting asked to come to these events um, and again today just incredible warmth from everybody that's put it on. The the people that have come to the show, I think there's like four or five hundred people today. Um, and when I'm walking around, I just it's just continual kind of love really for what I'm doing. And so I'm thinking, okay, well I just I'm going to keep doing them if people want to hear me, you know. But I had a, a very particular moment really today where it's just like you know. I've done, I've done a few of these now, but it, I realised there's one guy who's like, oh, thanks so much for coming to Poland, as if it was like, uh, rare. Uh, but I'm just honoured that I've been asked, really, and I will definitely come back. Yeah, you know, what's rare is the sight of you, rather than, you know, I mean, you haven't done any festivals like that in Poland as no. yet. Have you come, played with anybody? I, the last time I was in Poland was, I think, about... 10 or 11 years ago exactly. with an artist in Warsaw yeah. and of course that's pre-Instagram <laughs> and so yeah that's exactly it a different thing now yeah, yeah.